What's up YouTube? KS Gun Guy here. Thanks for joining me today as always. So not too long ago, I did an update video on the CZP-10C, the oldest gun in the collection for the channel. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to come full circle and visit one of the newest guns on the channel, the Six Hour P365. Definitely still a hot item out there. They're tough to get. It's still a new firearm. And uh, had there been some issues that have been reported, just to remind you guys, various channels, that sort of thing, even my buddy Harry for Harry's Holsters uh, has had some issues and done a lot of videos uh, talking about that sort of thing. So I wanted to uh, chime in and let you guys know where I am because I just crossed the thousand round mark not too long ago and uh, wanted to kind of just give an update where we are. But before we do, I want to talk about a couple of the things that I really like about the P365. Now, first and foremost, the ergonomics on this are fantastic. Now, the grip texture is very similar to the uh, P320 X series line going front, back, and sides which is great. I mean, that grip texture is fantastic. It's kind of a medium aggressive. It's not uh, terribly bitey, but it's just enough to really keep a purchase in your hand and it does very well. Now, the magazine that I have in here right now is one of the uh, 10 round magazines. It's got the lip on it. Just happened to be the one that I grabbed for this video, but it's got, of course, a flat base magazine and a uh, 12 rounder as well. Uh, but aside from the grip texture, the other thing that's really outstanding are these sights, the uh, SIG X-ray sights. Now, they are night sights, of course, and especially during the day, they really really pop. And there your rear sights, a little bit of serration right there as well. Absolutely love the sight picture on this. Now, uh, we'll talk about the trigger here in just a moment or two. But as I said, I'm at about the thousand round mark, just over a thousand rounds. And uh, so where I'm, where am I with this? Now, as a reminder, this went back to the mothership, Sig Sauer. Um, and a lot of you guys have been kind of picking on that a little bit. Why would you keep a gun that had to go back uh, to the manufacturer? Well, that happens with a lot of guns with a lot of manufacturers. These things just happen. And so I don't consider that that big of a deal. And of course, I had a stand in P365 to make a couple of videos, which was uh, very nice. I was glad to be able to do that. But I have this back and again, a thousand rounds. What did SIG do to this firearm when they had it? Well, they didn't do a whole lot. They confirmed that it functioned. And I agreed with that from the very start. I hadn't had any functions, uh, function issues up to that point. And I think I had somewhere around 250 or 300 rounds through it before it went back to SIG. Uh, but the only thing that they did, they went ahead and put in a new barrel in it. So it does have a new barrel and the barrel's got about 800 rounds in it right now. And uh, the only issue that I've seen so far, no unusual wear, but uh, the writing, the six hour writing on the side does have a little bit of wear on it. It's not too bad, just makes it a little bit more uh, silver. So some of the finish on it is coming off. I, I find that to be totally normal. A lot of guns uh, have a little bit of barrel wear, but nothing on the hood, nothing uh, really unusual there. And of course, we can't really take guns apart anymore on YouTube, at least I don't think we can. So unfortunately, I can't strip this down. But but again, the barrel looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, nothing uh, nothing on the front. Uh, in fact, it looks uh, almost pristine. Now, you guys know I, I oil the barrels just a little bit. That helps protect them. Uh, but again, no unusual wear or anything like that. Now, in terms of functionality through the life of this firearm, my personal firearm, I've had zero malfunctions, or at least I should say I've had zero malfunctions that I didn't induce myself. Now, what does that mean? Well, I've been talking about the grip uh, and how you grip a gun, uh, especially a 365. Now, a lot of guys uh, have a kind of a combat grip. They put their thumb kind of right about there and they might ride the slide a little bit with this thumb. And on some guns, that's absolutely fine. It's not a big deal. But on a gun like this with the slide so low, if you're gonna be doing that, you're probably gonna have some issues. You're gonna to induce some malfunctions and I've watched videos of people doing that and then they've complained about the firearm whether it's the 365 or other firearms as well and they say well it doesn't work very well there, there might be a reason for that and it might have to do with the grip I've noted uh, in my videos with this, what I do is I actually have a reference point, this faux accessory rail right here, and I just plant my thumb right there. It's quite comfortable, and I find it very easily because there's enough uh, texture uh, going on with this slot right here. It's not a big deal. So I find that, and then my other thumb is just free floating, and that's how I shoot every gun. I don't ride the slide with this thumb ever first. I think it it uh, makes me want to shoot a little bit right, that sort of thing. So it's just it's free floating. And because of that, this slide, has nothing going on, nothing to impede it. So if there's going to be an issue or anything like that, it's gonna be with the gun itself. It's not gonna be with your grip unless you're just really loose with your grip, um, which you know, hopefully I'm not, or at least not too bad. Uh, but again, um, uh, from a function standpoint, it has been 
flawless. Um, unless I've tried to induce an error, and I've been able to induce a couple of failures to feed, but uh, but aside from that, uh, it's been fantastic. Now, I also reported some peening issues uh, in the interior of the slide, and if I still have a picture of that, I'm wheeling, wheeling it in right now. Uh, but uh, have I noticed any more peening with the firearm? Absolutely not. I haven't noticed any more whatsoever. And I think uh, that it needed a little bit of time to dig a couple of grooves. And I know some people would say, well, that's not good. It shouldn't do that. Well, I, I beg to differ a little bit. Um, I know that there are some other firearms out there uh, that can do that as well, especially smaller firearms, because there's a lot going on with that action with the slide and slamming against the barrel and slamming home uh, that you can put some little wear marks in the interior of the slide. And six hours pretty quick to remind me about that uh, when I talked to him at length about this particular firearm and of course I take all that sort of thing with a grain of salt as should you but uh, but after talking with him and then after putting a lot more rounds through this and not having any uh, more issues uh, or at least noticeable noticeable issues um, I, I think there's some uh, truth to that so uh, function uh, peening issues not at all it's been absolutely fantastic and and this trigger is really wearing itself in very nicely I love the p365 trigger I mean it's just smooth as glass that take up is phenomenal you get to a nice defined wall and there's your break. It's really crisp. It's really nice. And then you reset right there. It's crisp. It's audible. It's tactile. I mean, it's to me, it's everything you want in a trigger. Now it's probably a little heavier than some triggers out there. This one coming in right around five and a half pounds or so. But, uh, but again, from a, a carry gun, uh, that's not too bad. So Overall, the P365 has been fantastic. Now, I will tell you, um, as far as proving something like this, because again, not being able to take the gun apart on YouTube, unfortunately, and I hope that changes, I will say that if I had a lot more issues with this gun, I would say you and I wouldn't be sitting here talking about it right now. I have a very low tolerance for guns that don't work. Now, I don't have a problem sending a gun back to the manufacturer if necessary, especially if it's one that I'm very interested in, like the P365. And I've always had a good experience with Sig Sauer. I know some people haven't, but I have. So I wanted to give it its uh, fair due. And because I've had zero issues and it's about to go into my carry rotation, it is still part of the collection. If I was having issues, it would not be here. I assure you of that. So uh, I wouldn't spend the time. I'd, I'd rather invest my my money in other guns that are working. So hopefully that helps us stem the tide a little bit from some of the comments. Hey, you didn't prove anything. Well, I understand that, but guys, we're sitting right here talking about it. Um, I still own it. It's part of the collection. So I assure you it's running and it's running really well. So guys, I want you to sound off down below. I'd love to hear about your experiences with the 365, or if you're curious about anything that, uh, that I've experienced with it, that I haven't shared, uh, hopefully I've shared everything, but, uh, we can always have a great conversation. I love that. And I appreciate all your comments. Guys, thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time.